Captains or pilot in command of commercial airplanes has a routine safety checklist they go through before every flight regardless of how many times they have flown that particular aircraft or airplane. After the aircraft technicians have performed, completed and signed off on their safety checklist, the captain or the pilot in command of the flight also performs safety inspection of the exterior of the aircraft and the instruments they depend on. Not that the captain does not trust the aircraft technician safety checklist, but because he or she is responsible for the flight and the souls on board, they have to ensure they perform their safety inspection as well. After performing the safety inspection from the startup of the engines to push back from the gate to taxiing for takeoff has to be authorized by the air traffic controller. The air traffic controller sits in a tower which is located in the airport. The pilot does not see and may or may not know the air traffic controller but can only hear their voice over a two-way communication system. Commercial pilots will not take off from the airport without being cleared by an air traffic controller. Why am I reflecting on a commercial pilot? I'm glad you asked. I see leadership, most especially Christian leadership, as playing the role of a commercial pilot. We are carrying the lives of people to a destination of hope and faith. There are people in our families, ministries, churches and businesses who look up to us for direction and one careless mistake can cause the life of many individuals. As a leader, you have to depend on the voice of God for daily divine direction. The difference between you as a leader and the commercial pilot is that you know God but sometimes you cannot identify his voice to obey his instructions and commands due to the distractions and noisy environment. The pilot may or may not know the air traffic controller, but they can identify their voice and obey the instructions and commands. As a leader, you have to begin your day with your safety checklist of prayer, studying the word of God, and meditating on his word. You also have to come to a place in your life where you will take daily inventory of your life and develop the mindset of hearing from God when you wake up to the start of your day to go in about your daily activities till you come to the end of your day. God has you on his radar just as the air traffic controller sees every airplane in their airspace on your radar by instructing the pilot to squawk a transponder code. Regardless of how and when you wake up, make your open dialogue with God a priority. Do not allow yourself to be distracted by your phone, tablet, social media, or TV when God is number one in your life. Do not leave your house without first speaking to God who sees further than you do and knows more than you know. Remember, leaders change the world, not followers. Be that effective, transformational, and agent of change who will always add value to people. Thank you and God bless you. Thank you for watching. Remember to subscribe to our YouTube channel and click on the bell. Have a wonderful day.